YouTube friends! Hey everyone! Thank you for tuning in, it's April and this is Justin, my handsome husband, the love of my life. And my other loves are my furry friends, so we're doing the furry friend tag and we're answering some of your questions from Facebook. So, the first question is, how many pets do you have? How many do we have? Sweetie? We have three. We do, and they're all cats. This is Sunrise, he's an orange tabby. This is Charlie, he's our Russian blue. And then we have Bobby who likes to sleep all day under the bed. That's why we don't have him around. But I'm just gonna let them roam for you because I don't want, they get really scared of the umbrella lights or the softbox <laughs> lighting that we have. And then the other question is their breed. So Sunrise, do you know his breed, sweetie? He's a, just an orange tabby. An orange tabby. Mm -hmm. And then Charlie is? Russian blue. A Russian blue, but a mix, a mix. Yeah, he's a mix. Thing, yeah. I think he's a he may be a mix with it with a tabby as well. Oh no, they're fighting oh. right in front of us. <laughs> yeah, they, they just <laughs> they're them on they're the just head. like fighting right now. That's so funny. Yeah, and okay. and then Bobby, I believe, is like a mix. Whoa! Oh, do you? <laughs> so the other questions I have, and by the way, I'm a legit crazy cat lady because I have my cat cell phone case. I'm wearing a cat necklace, and I even have a cup that says "crazy cat lady." <laughs> So the other question is, um, how old are our pets? Let's start with Sunrise. Oh, you have ca cat hair all uh, over, hair all over on your chin. That's a reality of life when you have when you have pets. Yeah, three. I'm sure you guys know. <laughs> uh, our cats. So Sunrise, uh, we got him in April of 2009. So mm -hmm. he's over three and three and a couple months. Yeah, and we got him when he was nine months old. Mm -hmm. And then Charlie is, I believe, two and a half, turning three. Mm -hmm. Um, and we got him when he was six months. Yeah. He was so little. And then Bob is we we we. It's kind of we don't know for sure because we just adopted him a year ago. But they say he's about three or four. But they're not sure because he came from a really like like unknown background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So they also asked us um, where did you find your pets? We all we well we got them all at adoption clinics. Yeah, so. or sh cat shelters. Cat shelters, and uh, I, don't, I grew up with with cats my whole life, so I definitely have, you know, have an affinity towards towards animals, and uh, you know, I've always we always had cats that we had adopted from either the, the pounder or just off the street, um, because you know I, I feel as though, especially older cats, definitely have a hard time finding homes because everyone wants kittens, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so we, you know, we, uh, you know, we definitely wanted to get cats from from a shelter. So we got two of our cats from Bobby and, and I mean, Charlie and Sunrise from one place and then uh, Bobby from another. Yeah, so. Bo Bobby, oh, I tricked Justin. So here's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I told Justin, can we go to this cat shelter because I want to volunteer. And then I met Bobby. He was this chubby ball of a cat and I just fell in love with him. And he has like a really sad story. Like they found him at a really like bad hotel and he he was just pretty much dying he had like what like ear he had mites. no he had no fur no he fur. was had sores all over his body he had ear mites he had like an upper respiratory issue and he had some skin allergy issues oh, yes, so yes, yes. um he, he definitely was on his last leg so they had they were able to catch him and essentially nursed him back to health for Took him, I think, over a year to to fully get back to health. Yeah. And uh, now he's he's basically kicked everything, except he, um, you know, still has um, some skin allergy issues, which we are going to have to give continue to give him antibiotics for the rest of his life. But uh -huh. uh, you know, I mean, I think that that being the only thing, it's pretty pretty phenomenal that he's been able to recover so much. Yeah, and I I I knew that adopting him meant a lot because. I don't think anyone would adopt him because his medical bills are expensive. Yeah. He takes medication every single day. Yeah. Um, we had to put him on a special diet, but to me it was worth it. I didn't know how long he was going to live. I thought that he was really sick, so I thought he needs to have a good life for a while at least, but I'm so glad because he's all better mm -hmm. now. Yes. Every, I mean, we medicate him every day, but like it's such it's such a joy to change a life, you know, your, your cat friend's yeah. life. <laughs> yeah, and also I think, I really believe in shelters, like adopting yeah, from shelters. Definitely. Like there's no need to buy a special breed right. when you can save one at a shelter. There's you so know? many cats that need homes. Oh, or... yes. Are our cats indoor or outdoor? Definitely indoor. I, I think it's really important um, for your cats to be indoor. Do I have cat hair all yes, over me? Yes, you do. <laughs> Sunrise is shedding right now, so when yes. I hold him, his hair just goes all over me. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's really important to have indoor cats because, uh, especially if you live in areas where there's uh, other predators or like 
I don't know necessarily predators, but like raccoons and uh, wild animals, like especially if you live in mountainous regions like mountain lions and bears and stuff like that. Uh, you we know, don't live near bears. Well, no, no, of course not. We live in an apartment, so it's not it's not really an issue. But um, you know, I my cats growing up were uh, outdoor and indoor cats, and you know, it just uh, they they really got injured a lot. Yeah, they pink, got pink in fights. They got yeah, they just got in fights. They got I mean, because they're very territorial. You know, when you they're protecting the home, mm -hmm. um, and so but in my opinion, I just. I'm, I'm, I'm scared of that because I just don't want them to get hurt. And there's some who say, well, oh, it's, you know, it's depriving them of their natural habitat of being outside and everything. Yeah, but yeah. I really don't think that's the case. I think, you know, we let them out on our balcony and uh -huh. they can see outside and through the window and everything. I think it's just a much safer thing in general. Yeah. And also our, like they get so much sunshine. They get an amazing view. They see birds, they see trees, they can creep out like people on, you know, our neighbors <laughs> if they want. They, I mean, I think that they're completely happy and fine mm -hmm. being an indoor cat. Yeah. They have everything that they I could possibly give them to make their lives happy. Totally. Like we have the cat condo or the cat hotel or mm -hmm. tree thingy. Mm -hmm. We have windows. We make this place cat friendly, like the best way we possibly we do. can. We, we do. Because we love them. Yep. They're, they're our babies. <laughs> um, well, they asked us, what kind of food do they like to eat? Let's go get it. Let me go, go get it. it. Yeah. Yeah, so go ahead and talk about it. Uh, so we so we feed them, um, we've tried a couple different foods over the years, but the one that we really like, um, we feed them both wet and dry. So in the morning we do, uh, you know, just wet, fo wet food and then at night we do dry food, so we do um, wellness, uh, wet and dry. Um, it's wellness is the brand, and uh, it's they they love that brand. You know, it's definitely one of the the better ones out there in terms of it being uh, organic, I think, and you know have uh, good ingredients in it and everything, and not uh, processed as much as some of the other uh, more mainstream brands like uh, Purina and, and uh, that kind of thing. Yeah. And so um, this is their dry food, and the reason why we, we buy Wellness is we, we heard about it through um, your mom, yeah. my mother-in-law, and um, we just really care about the health of our cat. It's better to take care of them now and to make them healthy their whole life than to, you know, have to take them to the vet often because of their, of their bad health, you know, and it's just, I, it's just good. And also, my kitties love greenies. I call it cat crack because they love them, so I get, um, they like the chicken, the salmon, they pretty much like any type, and I and they finally made the jumbo sizes because they, back then they only made like the smaller ones, and now this is jumbo for breakfast. Or we feed them two times a day. I do mm -hmm. give them some lunch sometimes. Um, they have um, wet food in the morning, and then at night they have dry food. Mm -hmm. So at night they get to graze on their dry food every single. Um, throughout the middle of the night. Every, yeah, throughout right. the middle of the night. But the thing with Bobby is, Bobby came from a really like messed up background or his life before us um, was really bad that every time he sees food, he like eats, like, eats it like it's his last day of his life right. because he doesn't, he doesn't, he still doesn't get the fact that There'll he'll always have meal. food. There'll yeah, he'll always meal. have a meal. Like, it's just like a survival thing That's, for him. Yeah. That's why he's such a chubby wubby bear. <laughs> Things about your pet's personality. Oh, so man. let's start out with Sunrise. We could talk for orange hours. Cat. I know, but let's let's not. Let's, you go first. Yeah. So Sunrise was the very first cat I ever had in my whole entire life. I have never known like the love of kitties until Sunrise. And I he the thing with him is he's very strange. He doesn't like to be held. Like if you grab him and carry him, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. He he's like no. Like he it's goes, not. Like, stiff like a board. Like, he'll get stiff. <laughs> he'll start meowing and howling. But he's like the biggest lap cat, he which is. is very strange because if I pat like this, he'll come and run and sit on my lap, but it's on his terms. Yeah. And he sleeps with us. He, he sleeps, sleeps us. like right on my head or right in, right between, in between us. Our heads. He's just but he, and loving. when and when you pet him or brush him, he oh, just like yeah, he loves Oh, it. he just you know, he collapses. <laughs> oh, are you like this? You know, he just he just totally is And he's a purr kitty. He's a loud yeah, purr kitty. He purrs super loud and yeah. and he uh he's just he's just such a lover, you know, but yeah. he I don't know, he just doesn't like being held, he, he he has to be on his terms, I guess. Yeah, he's and we call him the regal kitty because every time he's like lying down on the couch, he just looks so regal. He does. He does. He does. <laughs> he does. How about Charlie? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where to begin? Charlie is uh, he. First of all, I like to I like to think of it in terms of that. 
I, I was the one who picked Sunrise. Yeah. Right? And I picked Charlie. Su she picked Charlie, and Sunrise is very much like her. And I mean, sorry, Sunrise no. is very much like me. Yeah, like And very Charlie calm. is very much like her. Yeah. Yeah, spunky. <laughs> spunky all over the place. Charlie is just like. He, I don't even know how to describe it. I think you've, you've probably seen Charlie in other videos. He just, he has to know what's going on in every single room. Like if, if we have guests over, he walks up, walks right up to him, sniffs him. You know, I mean, he, he literally, he just has to know what's going on. He, he'll just like, there'll be something on the table sitting there and he'll, he'll just go like this, you know, and hit it off the table. Like he just does that all the time. I'll just, I'll never forget. Like we had uh, one of April's friends over one time and we were, we had Jamba Juice and it was uh -huh. all like a napkin on the table <laughs> and Charlie like pokes his head up on one of the chairs and grabs the napkin and pulls the drink closer to him and both of us are sitting there like, what the heck is wrong up with this guy? He's just, he's super inquisitive and like now, there, oh, there oh, he there is. He, <laughs> he's, he is definitely the alpha cat even though he's the youngest and the smallest. His size, I don't know, he tries to make up with it. like. Charlie, with his say, oh, there he is. Well, hello there, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, he, so he's got to know what's going on. He sniffs everything, and he just, uh, he's just a, he's a handful, but we love him. Yeah, he is such a joy. I mean, he scratched me a good amount of times. He like, did. He scratched my whole arm. He scratched my whole chest, but I love him. And he, I think he knows when I'm hurt or when he hurts me because he'll sleep right next to me, and he's not that type of cat to mm -hmm. sleep next to you. Yeah. Bless so, you. Bless you, sweetie. Um, so how about Bobby? So Bob is, is as we were mentioning, he had a lot of medical issues, and so he was very skittish for a long yes, time when we he had was. him. He, you know, April, um, you know, did an amazing job just, you know, making him comfortable in this home and really doing, giving a lot of effort into, you know, make, him giving him love and everything because, <laughs> you know, he was just so skittish. And, you know, to be honest, he's, he's like so much better than when we were, uh, to be honest, kind of a little scared of him in the beginning because he was quite vicious if you touched him the wrong way. He was like, he, yeah, would he would smack like, he would you, like and it was like you. a painful, scary kind yeah. of smack. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> but, but that was because he just didn't really get that. And medication. Were, yeah, and, and the, you know, the poking and the prodding of medication throughout his whole life, having to go to the vet all the time. And so now that we've kind of gotten his medical issues under his under control and he hasn't had to go to the vet so often, um, you know, he's kind of gotten in with rhythm. He's so much friendlier. April will sit on the ground and he'll just like run up to her and kind of circle her and, and yeah. could be petted. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, so I, I think that, um, you know, he's he's come a long way, but uh, he may just kind of always be a little yeah. nervous. Yeah, it, that, and that's completely mm -hmm. fine because yeah. he's healthy now and that's all we, we care about. And we love him as just the same. He just doesn't show up. He likes to be by himself yeah. a lot. He likes to hide in my closet. He likes to hide under the bed. But when he does come out, we make sure to say hi and we pet him. And he'll always come out when he hears food. He will like <laughs> gallop. Yeah, he gallops. <laughs> we, call, we call him our bunny because he like yeah. hops like a bunny. Because he he's like so big that he yeah. just, he kind of like gallops like this. And he's really white. He's, he has like the most beautiful oh, white he does, fur. Yeah. Okay. Um, so because Justin was talking about bunny, the other question is the names or the weird nicknames we have for our cats. <laughs> so let's start with Sunrise. Oh man. Well, uh, April started this, but for some reason we call him Chun Wise. <laughs> so we go Chun Wise Chun instead of Sunrise. I don't yeah. I don't know why, but that's just something April started, and so we pretty much call him that it's exclusively now. It's because when okay, every time I come home, oh, yeah. no matter what time I come home, morning, night, afternoon, he comes out like of wherever he is in front of the door with his eyes like barely open because he just woke up like, yeah. And it's a light. Yeah, and he just looks like a Chinese cat. So I'm like, Chen, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, there's just so many baby, I used to call him baby bear a lot a couple mm -hmm. of years ago. Um, our regal kitty mm -hmm. leg extension because he likes to extend his leg. <laughs> he lays on the couch and he'll like have his leg out like this. And the thing, oh laying, my god. And I'm like, dang, and sunrise. I know, and the thing is we have a cow king bed. It's pretty big, but he takes up most of the space. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. Because he extends his, he's a very long cat and yes. he likes to sleep a certain way. Yeah. yeah. How about Charlie? Charlie. Uh, Hi. Well, we call him, what do you call him? I call him Chardizzle. Chardizzle. We both call him Chardizzle. <laughs> and Bo Shizzle Shizzle. Yeah. Shizzle. I think Chardizzle is what we call him pretty much. We call much. him Charlie. Or I call him Puppy Cat. I call him Puppy because he's like a dog because sometimes he sounds like he's barking. 
Um, I, well, I call, I remember, you know, you guys, I'm sure have all seen that Charlie bit my finger video on YouTube. Charlie. That, that, I call him, I go, Charlie, I, I say that, you know, in the British accent pretty yeah. frequently. How about Bobby? Uh, I call him Bobby Bear, Bob, mm -hmm. uh, I also call him Bunny, we call mm -hmm. him Bunny. Bobby or Bunny Bear. Bobby Bunny Bear, she calls him that, so. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you guys, I'm sure, know, have your own pets, and you've come up with these crazy names that you sometimes can't even remember why yeah. you started calling them yeah. that, you know? Oh, let's ask Justin a question, an impromptu one. Oh. Justin. Yes. You know how I feel about cats? Could I have another friend cat? <laughs> See, April, April, will, whenever we'll go to the... Pretty to the, please when handsome we go to the, husband. When we go to the pet store, she'll, she will always look at the, <laughs> at the adoption clinics if we go on the weekends. Oh, let's go look at the cats. And then we go over there and she's like, I want seven cats. And then if we, if we talk, <laughs> yeah. if we talk about our future, like what do we want to accomplish like later in life and yeah. long term. Oh yes. One time she saw this video on uh, this guy who had a cat sanctuary. I want one. That had like 800, or no, it was like 1500 cats. It was like unreal. The guy had like this huge farm with all these cats mm -hmm. and it was like, that's my goal one day to have a cat sanctuary. And I said, you know what? If that's what you want, then absolutely. If it's a dream, yeah. you know, she, so she just really loves cats and, mm -hmm. and, uh, I think that, I think that I'm so glad I was able to introduce you to cats. Cause in the beginning she was kind of just like, I don't know. Yeah. But then I took her to the adoption place and she saw sunrise and she was just like, oh. he, oh, it was, he was just such a cute little friend. I just, I love pets. So thank you friends so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful day. Um, I have a cooking channel, Cook with April. My husband has an awesome advice channel. He is just amazing. So subscribe to advice from Justin as well. And we are off to film a random questions and answers video. Have a beautiful day, bye. Bye. Hi, friends. All right, so this is extra footage. We finally <laughs> managed to get Bob out. We lured him bye. with some salmon, some salmon greenies. He was under the bed here. sleeping, weren't you, boy? Yes, he's so handsome. Whenever you hold him, he just he kind of kind of just collapses in your arms. But you got to be careful not to like touch him in a, in a specific place because he'll freak out. So he just is kind of collapsing he's, right I now. I love Bobby because he gives me kisses. I do this, and he'll like kiss me. <laughs> it's Say <cute>. hello. Hello. <laughs> he's so handsome. I have awesome footage of him. I was stalking him for like a couple days. <laughs> Stalking all of our cats. Okay, baby. Go ahead. Thank you, Bob. All right. <laughs>